Jake Eisenberg joined by Maryland pitching coach Jimmy Bellinger. We're taking a look at the beginning of the 2016 season here. Terps open against Alabama on Friday. We'll start with the, with the weekend rotation. We all know what Mike Shawarna can do on the Friday night slot. But we see two new guys in Saturday and Sunday in Taylor Bloom and Brian Schaefer. What have you seen from them last season and then in the fall that kind of showed you they were ready for a role like this? Uh, well, last season, you know, you saw those two guys pitch in some of the bigger games of the season for us last year. You know, Taylor Bloom pitched in the Big Ten Championship game and then in a regional championship game. Uh, Brian Schaefer started a ton. He had a very up and down season last year, but towards the end of the season really came on and started to get a lot of confidence and uh, broke Illinois' 27-game win streak last year in the Big Ten tournament and pitched at UCLA in the Winners Bracket Championship game. Um, so those guys have pitched in, in the in the, about as big as games as you can get in, you know, as a freshman. Um, and then they both went off, you know, Brian stayed on campus, rehab from an injury, um, and uh, Bloom went out and had probably about as good a summer as we could have hoped him having. And then both those guys coming back just, they just got better. You know, they're just a year older, they're more mature, they, they, uh, they know what to expect, and th those guys have just come in and earned those roles, just kind of springboarded off of the success they had at the end of the year last year. And what about kind of in a, in a midweek role? Last year there was kind of a, a rotation, I would so, so to speak, in that Sunday slot, and you saw different guys mix in in the middle of the week. This year you have so many freshmen coming in and the return of Ryan Selmer, who was strong in long relief positions last year. What can we expect on Tuesdays and Wednesdays? I think you're going to see a young guy, um, whether it be uh, Cameron Ank or John Murphy. Um, you know, I, I, I think we're going to keep Brian in the pen just because I think that's where he's most valuable to the pitching staff. But I think you'll see a young guy um, that will get in the mix there. Maybe, you know, it might be a situation where one guy gets one start one week, one guy gets to start the next. We're just going to try and find the best mix. So now we'll, we'll take a look at the, at the bullpen a little bit. A lot of departures there. First and foremost probably being Kevin Mooney, the all-time saves leader for the Terps. Also a, a flamethrower lefty, Alex Robinson, gone to the MLB draft as well, along with Zach Morris. How do you replace those kinds of guys at the back end of the pen? Uh, you, you, it's impossible. You know, it's impossible to replace what Mooney's done. He's obviously the all-time saves leader here, so you're, you're losing the best closer ever you know, in, in this program. Uh, but we have a lot back. You, know, you have Rob Galligan, who was second on our team in innings last year and just was is a rock. You know, he's a fifth year senior. You have Ryan Selmer back. Um, you have Taylor Styles who has a ton of experience. Uh, we, we have a lot of guys and then we have a lot of guys that were weren't in key roles last year that have gotten a lot better. Uh, you know, Jared Price is a senior for us and he's had a really good preseason and, and Andrew Green has really come on. So I you know I think a lot of guys have stepped up and I, I feel really good about where our where our bullpen is as far as depth goes. Let's focus on Taylor Styles just a little bit more. He was in the Saturday starting slot for a little bit of last season before his injury, and now it looks like he's fitted for that closer role replacing Kevin Mooney. What has that transition been like for him, and what do you kind of see out of him to put him in that role? Uh, it's been pretty seamless, you know. Uh, and, and for us, you know, when, when we sit back, you're, you're always trying to put one of your best pitchers at the back end of the game because the, the last three outs are the hardest three outs to get. Um, and you're always looking for a guy that can mentally handle it. And, and Taylor's one of the tougher guys on our staff mentally. Um, he's got a swing and miss breaking ball, and he's been there before. And he throws a lot of strikes. You're going to have to hit to beat him. You know, he's not going to go out and walk the house. You're going to have to, you know, really swing the bats to beat him. So we just felt like it was the best option for us at that point. Maryland pitching coach Jimmy Ballinger. Season gets started on Friday in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You can catch all the broadcasts on MarylandBaseballNetwork.com and follow us on Twitter at MDBaseballNet. Thanks for joining us.